Hello, I'm Caitlin from Blueware and thank you for joining me in this Blueware Wellness Connection video tutorial. Today we're going to go over the patient admission scanning function of the Wellness Connection. Patient admission scanning is designed to help you import patient admissions documents like driver's licenses, insurance cards, and consent forms into the system at the point of patient registration. Let's get started. Accessing the Wellness Connection has always been very easy with a shortcut available to you from your workstation's desktop. Just double click on the icon that links to the Wellness Connection patient admission scanning and you will be presented with a prompt for a username and password. This prompt is what allows you to log into the Wellness Connection. So just type in your username and password that you've been provided and then you will be presented with the front page of patient admission scanning. The first screen you're presented with will ask you for either the patient encounter number or the medical record number for the patient's documents you will be scanning in. Using either the encounter number or the medical record number will vary depending on what your facility chose in the implementation process of the system. In this case, we'll be typing the encounter number for our patient, Hal Haynes. After you've typed in the number required, Click Submit and you will be presented with a screen that requires you to select the type of document you want to scan in. Example choices include consent, driver's license, or insurance cards. In this case, we're going to scan in a consent form. So I'm going to click on consent and then I'm going to click the scan button. Clicking on Scan will open up the scanner's driver on your screen, of which you may select specific options as to how you would like to perform your scan. In this case, I'm happy with the default settings, and I'm going to select Scan from the driver's screen. This will activate the desktop scanner at your workstation, and you will see the document physically move through the scanner. Once the document has gone through the scanner, the scanning screen will refresh and you will be able to select a second document to scan in. Now I'm going to scan in a driver's license. Using the same method as before, I'm going to click on driver's license and then click the scan button on the screen. This will prompt the scanner driver to pop up and again I will click scan. Once the second document has made it through the scanner, I am still able to scan a third document. However, I have no more documents to scan in. In this case, I'm going to click on the Finish button as I am finished scanning. Once I've clicked Finish, I'll be presented with a new screen that has thumbnail versions of the documents I've scanned in. As I've only scanned in two in this demonstration, I will only see the two documents that I've scanned. From this screen, I can edit the documents by rotating or producing a negative version of the document, among other things. On the right hand side of each document is a document number and a checkbox. Should I be dissatisfied with any document displayed, I can click the checked box and scroll down and select the delete button. This will delete the document from the system entirely. If I've realized that I've forgotten to scan a document, the scan button will allow me to go back to the select document type screen and add that document to my collection. In fact, I feel like I forgot an insurance card. So I'm going to go back to the scan screen and scan in my insurance card. Now that I have all of my documents and I'm satisfied with the quality of the scans, I can select the next step from the collection of buttons below the thumbnails. If I am for whatever reason completely dissatisfied to everything up until this point, clicking on the cancel button will delete the entire transaction from this point and will enable me to start from the beginning, starting from entering in the encounter number. In this case, I am satisfied with my three documents. Once I've completed scanning and verifying the documents and their quality, I am presented with the matches to the encounter number I typed in previously. This time, there was only one match, but this might not always be the case. 
If you do not see the correct encounter or medical record number you're looking for, you are able to perform a custom search at the bottom of the screen to find the encounter or medical record number to apply the scans to. Luckily for me, I am satisfied with the encounter number in patient on the screen listed, so I'll check the box accordingly and click on the submit button above. Once I've clicked on the submit button, a prompt appears and says, process completed, files uploaded successfully. Once I've accepted the prompt by clicking the OK button, I will go back to the initial patient admission scanning screen asking for the encounter number for the next patient to be admitted. The process is as simple as that. Now I'm going to exit out of the admission scanning application and log in as a clinician user to see if the documents I've just scanned are in there. Access to the patient records vary from user to user. As I am about to sign in as a clinician user, the screens that you may see next may or may not be available to you in your own user profile. After about four to six minutes, the documents will be available within the Wellness Connection. Back on the desktop of the workstation, I'm going to click on a shortcut labeled Wellness Connection. After logging into Wellness Connection, I'm going to use a secret shortcut to look at the documents within the encounter I specified during the scanning process. In the Encounter ID field, I'm going to type my encounter number and then use my mouse to click on the lightning bolt next to it. This will take me directly to the document display screen of the encounter I typed in, and there I will be able to see the documents that I've scanned. On the left-hand side of the document display screen, I can see the patient and the encounter I've selected, and below I can see all of the tabs and documents associated with the entire encounter. Under the Admissions tab, I will see the documents I've scanned with the date and time reflecting the time in which the scanned documents were added to the system. Happy with everything that has transpired up until this point, I log out of Wellness Connection and continue my day at the patient admissions desk. That concludes the material of this video. Thank you so much for joining me in the video tutorial series. And as always, on behalf of everyone from Blueware, thank you so much for using the Wellness Connection. Have a great day!